Of all the disturbing kills in Dexter, Rita's death is the most problematic. The series revolves around Dexter Morgan, Michael C. Hall, a forensic blood spatter analyst for the Miami Metro Police Department who leads a double life as a vigilante serial killer. Dexter's code dictates that he only kills those who have escaped the justice system, making him a peculiar blend of hero and anti-hero. Central to the series' emotional depth and character development is Dexter's relationship with Rita Bennett, Julie Benz. A mother of three and later Dexter's wife, Rita represents normalcy and humanity in his tumultuous life. Rita's unexpected death at the end of season four remains a shocking moment in television history, not just for its brutality but for its impact on the narrative and characters. It marked a pivotal turn in Dexter's storyline, changing the course of the show and the protagonist's emotional journey. Her death not only affects Dexter's personal life but also shifts the show's tone, pushing it into darker territories. This event redefined the stakes and underscored the perils that Dexter's double life imposed on his loved ones, but the Dexter Rita death is also somewhat problematic. The Trinity Killer murdered Rita in Dexter Season 4. Michael C. Hall and Dexter creator James Manos Jr. praised the bold decision. Rita Bennett's demise in The Getaway, the finale of Season 4, the best Dexter season, was a dramatic and haunting conclusion to one of the show's most intense seasons. Rita's death was orchestrated by the Trinity Killer, a methodical and sadistic murderer portrayed by John Lithgow, whom Dexter had been tracking throughout the season. The scene was shocking, revealing Rita dead in a bathtub filled with her own blood, mirroring the Trinity Killer's pattern of killing women. This marked a horrifying full circle for Dexter, who, in his pursuit to stop Trinity, inadvertently exposed Rita to danger. The build-up to this tragic event was a masterclass in tension and misdirection. Dexter believed he had finally outsmarted Trinity, arguably the best Dexter villain, and could return to his life, only to discover the devastating result of his double existence. The murder was not depicted on screen, instead, Dexter discovering Rita's body created a poignant and heart-wrenching moment that left viewers in shock. However, Julie Benz was understandably devastated. Speaking to the Inside of You podcast, via LAD Bible, said it was the worst moment of her career. She only found out three days before when she was called in to do ADR, automated dialogue replacement, on her day off and was then asked to go to the producer's room. Benz discussed having a panic attack and calling her manager and boyfriend for moral support. She said, Rita's Dexter death is part of the problematic, fridging, trope. Rita was reduced to a mere catalyst for the male protagonist story. Rita, Julie Benz, and Dexter, Michael C. Hall, lean their heads against each other on the bed in Dexter. The term, fridging, short for, women in refrigerators, originates from a 1990s comic book trope where female characters are killed, maimed, or depowered as a plot device to motivate male characters. This term has since been adopted more broadly to describe similar patterns in other media, including television and film. Rita's death in Dexter is a textbook example of this trope, her violent demise is primarily used to alter Dexter's trajectory and emotional state rather than serving her own narrative arc.